So I'm going to post this here. Posted. So as we address one of these, each one of these that we address, like let's say we address this, the way it works is now that you just do it in SAP. In real life, you got to go get the part. So if I'm here, and here's a red, let's say there's a red, and there's all sorts of, there's no one stock, so this one I can't meet, but let's say this one here is 32. So as I look at this, there's 32 of them. I'm like, okay, I have 32 of them. I have red. That means I have an unmet item. So I got to address this right away. So the right here, let's see this. Oh, this is direct procurement. I apologize. We got to look at these work orders. I apologize about that. So this right here needs to be dressed right away. Go here, enter. You look for your your part. There's the part. Make sure that the storage location is there. That's perfect. And you press post. As you're doing this, you don't just do that. What you got to do, you got to go into the stores, get the part, put it in a bag, and they get it ready for the person or give it to the person or call the person from the work order. And then once you give it to them, then you refresh it. Then you do it in SAP. So, hmm. I do this one here. Right here, this order needs to be met. There's a demand for one, so I'm going to go control C it. I got Amigo. Pull it up. What's going on here? Meantime, what I'll do. I go click on my work order. Work order is Vlad's work in it. So what I'll do right now, I'll contact Vlad, telling him that his parts are here, that he's going to get a couple of parts. He's going to get the 10 millimeter and the 5 millimeter bearings that I have them in stock for him. Or he or he will come and see me about it. Once he comes by and have all the parts ready for him, I'd give it to him. I basically go in here and I do the goals, goods issue. You always put the storage location. Check. Post. That's done. Go back here. Refresh. That's gone from your list. And that's it. So, that's how you do that. <clears throat> so, the next thing is that, let's pretend I met all these ones here. I go up in another window. We look at inventory. And since there's been a lot of de a new demand put on my parts, I'm going to run MRP. MRP runs on its own every night, but we're going to simulate MRP. We're going to press enter. No P Rex are created, so whatever demand for parts there was, it's already met by the the stock, or it was a non MRP. So, after this, we're going to go look at uh, the purchase rec. So, we're going to go look at the POs that exist. These are all the open POs. Here's the, all the open POs, and I want to I wanna meet these open POs. So, now what I'll do, I'll simulate... 
we will simulate SRM. SRM will be done in the background, and all of a sudden we have all these purchase recs that have been created. Since uh, this is not an SRM video. Now we're going to look at the purchase orders that have been created. So once again we go here. Now we're did invent we manage inventory, did preventive technical structure. Now we're we went into inventory, we gave some of the parts to the work orders, but now there's some parts that are not met, so we're gonna try to meet them here through the purchase order system. So here's all the purchase orders. So the way this is laid out is that you go by purchase order number, vendor, delivery date, material, quantity, left to be delivered how much it costs you. So these have been delivered, so we could ignore these. Next we go here. Now these parts from Siemens still haven't arrived, but maybe if they were to, we're going to simulate in the scenario that they arrived. So we'll take this purchase order and we'll we will receive it. This is linked to a work order, so this will meet a work order. To be specific actually, it'll meet work order 931. So, what I'm doing right now is just receiving all the parts. I'm going to pretend all of them arrived. Post. Let me go back. We're just waiting for this to load. Everything that you see here needs to be set up uh, for your users. This is a layout that helps them. Uh, as you can see, it's very easy to read. You have the purchase order number, vendors, delivery date, material, quantity, what's left to be delivered. You could sort it by, uh, if you like, you could sort it by vendor. Here we look by vendor. We have $8,000 in goods coming from Siemens. 5,499 from EM Bakery and then Link Linko Foods. You can see what items are in or not in. So that's that. Now, this item has arrived for Siemens. So that means our work or our uh, parts have been met. So we're gonna go look. And they haven't been paid by card, right? they don't have Nine thirty one, we're gonna go see if that has been met. So here's all the materials. Right before I refresh, we're gonna see nine thirty one. Nine thirty one there's all red. All three parts are red. And I go back. Highlight it all and I refresh. Highlight it all. Go to materials. 931, two green, one is red. So that means it's not been completed yet. There's one item left here. So it's good. We got two parts in. Uh, this one's probably in stock. Or maybe it's going through MRP. So very quickly you could go through your parts green 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 red and you can kind of see what's going on with your parts so you leave there Now, so 
these items are still left to be received. So let's go see if we could receive one of these, like this. Can we receive this? This has one PO item. We could receive this PO. Let's go receive it. <laughs> so we receive this one here. You go to Amigo. Receive it. Now we post it. All these parts have arrived for these work orders. So that's good. Close this off. Refresh. That PO is gone. Has met a work order. Now what I want to do, I want to go meet inventory of something that was ordered. Something that's V1. So if we go look at this, this is a V1. Let's see if there's any PO's that we could uh, sign off. So we'll sign off on this PO right here. So all of a sudden the stock will go up from 31 and it'll, 6 should be increased to 37. So we'll see it increase. Post it. Post. That's good. Close it. Refresh. It's 37 now. <laughs>